Here's a file I made. Okay, this is uh, from, from Kara. Uh, she made today where I had the students redefine point P to each of the other points, square, rectangle, rhombus, to investigate properties. Is it possible to make this happen with a slider, with a simple slider click? And the answer is yes. Okay, so then how? Well, let's take a look at what we've got here first. And what does this redefine? So right click, AKA control menu. If you're moving this point P around and, and enjoying investigating the properties, and you're like, hmm, here's something that happens when we get close to this point, or when we get close, close to this point. Well, um, we could do something extra fancy and make it pretend like it was snapping to it, but mm, no. Let's just uh, first off see what she was talking about. Right click, also known as control menu. If you press control menu, you get redefine right there. And we could redefine point P to be boom, right there. Oh, look at that, 10, 10, 10, 10. Now the angle seems to be able to, to change a little bit, but but here we have a net, no, no, it's, it's not a always a, hmm, doesn't stay stuck at a rhombus. Um, that would be kind of cool if it did stay stuck as a rhombus. Um, okay, but let's redefine it again. Uh, redefine it to the rectangle and click. All right, there it is, a nice rectangle. Both the sides um, opposite it are, are equal to each other, 90 degrees. Um, can we move this? Yes, and it's, oh, hey, look, that rectangle becomes a square. So um, it's kind of nice. And similarly, we can redefine it one more time, but then all those other ones go away. Each time we redefine it, the previous one is gone. Boom. All right, so there's the square. Um, bad news, that's not a square. Okay, <laughs> so um, what can we do to, um, to to make this happen? First off, in order to... Um, so let's go to this page here, a nice and fresh one she has for us. Um, fairly pleasant. Let's make a slider. I'm going to use menu and the first choice action. And down at the bottom up arrow wants to insert a slider. Um, how about we call this slider shape? So you move your slider around to where you want it. You label it what you want to call it. The variable is going to be called shape. And there is our slider. Um, now it might be appropriate if we may, if we minimize this slider, which involves a right click control menu right there in settings. And how about we'll start out with a value of zero. Uh, minimum zero, maximum of how many shapes? Uh, we had one, two, three shapes. So let's go with three. Step size of one. Um, I'm fine with horizontal. And let's minimize it. And OK. All right, so here is our nice minimized slider, um, and we can change the value of it. And we want um, for it only to show up certain things when that's happening. Um, okay, so let's group all of this together and make it not show up some of the time. So I'm going to choose Menu, Action, and Select. We'll select the region, and I'm going to come over here and go click, and then I'll select a lot of this, click, and then let's group it. Again, right click, control menu, and you can group. And then now that it's all grouped, we can right click and condition. Let's affect the condition. So, we will show when shape equals zero. Hmm, shape's gone. So that's because this one is not there. All right, so can I move this point again? Hmm, it seems to all be grouped together. Aha! Control menu, right click, and ungroup. Okay, now it's free to move about just like it was before. Alright, so let's um, make it appear to be uh, number uh, one. And which one do we want to be number one? Hmm, I'm thinking maybe one could be the square. Well, there's a couple things that are, that are hidden that I'd like to see. So I'm going to go menu and how about let's first off view the axes show axes there's that then menu hide show menu action hide show hey look there's all that stuff that was there before <laughs> um, I bet this point won't show up yeah yeah visibility conditions are set um, but note that's out there at 10 okay so I'll just cancel that's pretty neat I have actually, actually haven't run across that window too often um, let's define some points um, and that I don't think she wanted to change. Let's um, menu geometry, points and lines, and put on a couple points. Uh, let's put this point on and three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Boom. There's that point, and I guess I don't need that point. Nah, I'll put it on there. Okay, it's not staying. All right, I'm done. So let's. I'm going to make a, um, a segment, menu geometry, and segment, and I'm going to use to do a nice little feature and geometry. I'm gonna do midpoint. Nope. Yeah, construction midpoint. So what's the midpoint of this? And if I remember correctly, in her she had the as a nice color of blue. There. That's pretty. So here's an interesting little feature. Menu geometry shapes and it's called a regular polygon. And I'm gonna make it from up here because I tested it out the other direction and I wasn't so, quite so pleased, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that again. How about if I start in the middle? Oh, there it is. That's what I want to do. And I go this way, and then I go to where it's four. Beautiful. So that is a square. Now, I can actually move this along, and it stays a square, but it pretty much messes that up. So not what we were wanting it to do, not what we were expecting. So I think I'm just going to um, uh, pin this. And so when it is a square, it's going to stay a square. Alright, so that is this shape. Um, it's showing all the time because we haven't restricted it to only show up when it says shape 1. And just about there, and she could fill in some of the rest of it. Um, just make another line going across that way, segment, menu, geometry, shapes, and dun, 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 oh, points and lines it is, and segment. There you go. Right click and color blue. So, that's lovely. Let's make all this show up. Uh, I just go click and click and click, click, how about one more click? So we're selecting lots of things that I only want to show up when shape is 1. Condition, I didn't need to group it. I just want to say shape equals 1. And now if I go back this way, hmm, oh, guess I didn't select as many things as I thought I did. So how about square, yes, and this one? Can I get multiple select condition shape equals one. Mm. No, nope, that's just doing whatever I'm hovering over. All right, right click, condition, shape equals one. So maybe the grouping is a pleasant thing and then to ungroup it again. So I just have two more points that need to only be showing up. Condition, shape equals one. All right, how's that? Well, yeah, one more. So next time I think I'll, I'll group it again like I did the first time. Shape equals one. Boom. All right, let's move on to shape number two. Rectangle. How do we want to do rectangle? Well, you can make a rectangle, but it's not quite as pleasant as you'd like it to be if you did menu geometry, shape, and a rectangle. The reason is because the other side doesn't stay defined. We define it by two points, and then this last one is always going to move. I can't just lock it down there. You know, you, you think you locked it down, you think you picked that point, but wait a second. Hmm, good news. Looks good. No, it doesn't. I was right to begin with. That is interesting. That is an interesting little turn of events. Ha <laughs> ha, get it turned. So the rectangle, I like that a lot. Oh, except for if you wanted it to be that the base of, wow, I can't move this one. You can move this point right here. Hmm. Well, that might do well enough for what we want. How's this one do? Love it. How's this one do? It's, it's pinned. I'm loving this one. All right, let's just take this rectangle and make it show up. Uh, condition when shape equals two. Well, good. That's a convenient way to make a rectangle. And I think it will satisfy what she wants. Um, it would be pleasant if it said the sides are 10. Well, let's show how she did that. 
menu geometry measurement measuring the length of the sides so when you first hover over it says the rectangle if you press tab <laughs> then there it is then it will toggle through some various things that you can measure and there is the length of the side kinda wish it was 10 A tab and that's gonna be a nice pleasant 6 or 5 I guess <laughs> tab tab 6 leave the 6 over here and tab 9.97 okay well how about can we make it closer to 10 um, one way I can sneakily do this is to right click on it and say attributes and only show two bits of precision there it is one point of precision as in one decimal check that out on this one. So when I change it to 2, there you go. So, nice. I like it. Looks good enough. It'd be nice if that 10 was attached to that line a little better. So let's move this and then does it become reassociated? Yes. Nice. And so now it's reassociated with it. And we can move this. Oh, this is great. Boom, love it. And she could put in the other sides. Um, so, rhombus. Do we want to make it so that this. Wow, he is a point on a. I think we'll just leave it the way, where it was and just pin it there. Pin. So now it won't move around. So, how can we make our rhombus? Oh, did I fix it so it's shaped too? Pretty much just need a couple other things to to be hidden, including um, ooh, shall we group? Yes, let's group a couple things. So, so how do we group it? Select menu, action, select the region. And the video's probably getting to be long enough. Uh, group grouping and condition shape was equal to two. Lovely. And we'll just do you two condition shape equals two. Okay. So there is that one, there is this one. And this um, does I don't think my square no, nope, I pinned that one. So rectangle is nice and flexible. And we'll just make the rhombus stay where it is. Um, or actually maybe I'll just leave this for, for Kara to do. Um, or anyway, that's the end of the video for um, making that happen. Enjoy.